okay in this video we want to demonstrate how to set up and customize icon for our objects or nulls in the object manager the main purpose of doing this is for organization as you can see in this project we have lots of objects and i have a colorized folder for the each group so it helps me to find what i'm looking for very quickly let's open a new project file add an object expand the attribute panel a little bit and in the attribute panel in the basic tab we have an icon section we can expand it now as you can see there is no data for the icon so it shows the main or default default cube icon for the cube or any object has its own unique icon but what if I to change it to whatever I want I select the object come to icon in the basic tab click on load preset now I can select from each of the icon presets in my Cinema 40 for example I want this code I double click on it now as you can see my icon changed here you can also change the color for it come to custom tab and click on color and change it to whatever you want as you can see it changed to green you can also use display color what is display color each object has display color attribute in, in the same section here the main value is material it means that whenever you assign a material to an object it will use the color of that material as the display color in the viewport get back to the object now I can change it to something like custom in the custom I can change the color and if I select the display color in the icon tab it will follow the same color as display color here I stick to custom and change this to material there are other icons that you can use load icon for example I can use this R icon as you can see it changed here there are lots of other icons for each setting function and object in Cinema 40 how could I use that as the icon for my object you need to know their ID each icon has its ID in the Cinema 40 this R icon for example has this ID how can I find the ID for the object that we select here we can click on the browser here now search for icon and double click on icon preset you can click on each of these icons for example i download this one make sure to activate detail button this one and when you scroll you can see the icon id here instead of loading you can copy this id here and when i click outside it updates the icon what about other icons id i right click on this top bar here click customize palette now i can see all the commands functions in the cinema 40 and i can search and see other icons here for example i like this icon i click on it now i can see the idea of this icon here i right click on it copy text close this window come here Control v click outside now as you can see the cube icon updated here you can also change the color but what about your custom icons that are not in cinema 40 you can use any other png or jpeg file as icon for example, I suggest you to use these two websites, Icons 8 and Flat Icon. For example, I, I search for a folder and I and I chose this icon. Download the icon. The point is use PNG or JPEG. PNG is preferred because you can have a transparent background, but don't use SVG. SVGs don't work as an icon in the Cinema 40. I choose PNG. I download 64 by 64. That's enough. Download. I downloaded the folder icon here as you can see the format is png how to load it i grab the directory address ctrl c come to my object click on this folder icon here find the directory or i just simply pasted the directory address here and I select the icon this this is the one open it asks you to copy the icon file in the project location or just direct to that directory address in your computer and not copy the file in the project directory so i say no to just reference that as you can see the icon changes here i can also change the color also for this as you can see it updates i also downloaded an SVG file to show you that it won't work for this as you can see error loading texture back to the default icon of it so SVGs won't work as I mentioned you can also use JPEGs file this one is JPEG but what is downside of JPEGs as you already know they cannot have transparent pixel so your icons doesn't look as good as using PNGs with transparent background and you can see a black border around the icon here another caveat here is icons with black color or darker ones for example look at this PNG icon as I select it the icon changed but I cannot change the color of it so don't use black icon if you want to change their colors another point is that you can multi-select object and change their icons together like any other attribute in cinema 40 as you can see all change together you can also save your icon presets to load it faster other times after setting the icon with its color you can click on save preset enter a name for it for example i call it my icon here my icon okay as you can see it's saved here i have a preset with the same name here so i delete it for now delete now when i want to set this icon for another object i can simply select the object come here load preset and this time i just simply double click on my saved presets you can even change the tags icon for any object for example i add a target tag and this object click on the tag load presets this time i select this list download it then double click as you can see the tag icon also can be changed you can change the object manager icon size showing coming to view icon size and change the icon size from here a large a small or medium i leave it at a medium for now also you can get back to default view without icons by simply coming to view and checking on or off the show custom icon as you can see it get back to default icons and now they are custom icons that we added together and that's all for this video bye bye